friends, I thought we would try something a little bit different today. I've never done a building challenge and I've been playing The Sims 2 since launch. So I thought why not give it a go and see what we can do. I have um, Craig Ray's son here. This is Vincent Ray. You don't know who Craig Ray is. Oh boy, <laughs> he's our town criminal, essentially, and his son has recently aged up and is in need of a house. So I thought we would build a classic tiny cottage starter house for about 20,000 simoleons for Craig's son. We are going to give ourselves 20 minutes. I feel as though I am a notoriously slow builder in The Sims 2 because it's like, I use a lot of cheats, but I also um, struggle with placing like a ton of little knickknacks and objects everywhere. That's just kind of how I decorate. And you have to use like OMSPs, which take forever. They're so clunky. Pray to the Kiwi gods for me that <laughs> this goes well. So let's go ahead and start our timer. Oh my God, I'm stressed out. Okay. All right, so first things first, we are going to start off with some boxes. And I think I want him to have some goats, just because I've never actually played with goats in The Sims 2 before. And I've had them for like ages, right? Because they're sun and moon. But I've just like, I've never played with them. So I thought it would be a good time to like actually give it kind of a go. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Definitely maybe one story because we are going to be spending a lot of that money on goats, as I mentioned. And goats are not necessarily cheap. I think, I know like the cows are worth about 500 each. So that's kind of where my hesitation is sort of coming from. All right, we're gonna do you there. Do I wanna, do I wanna do that? I mean, that it could be kind of cute, right? I mean, it's not bad, it's just, okay, that's okay, that's all right. I, um, I don't mind that, but what I am gonna do, oh, that's not good, that's not good at all. Um, we're gonna use this one. I want it kind of like, see, that's just, it's not quite, it's not quite what I'm going for, you know? Let's see if we can get it a little further in. I mean, that's better. It just still looks a little bit awkward. But maybe what we'll do is... Oh, wait. First, I definitely need that in there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So what I'm going to place now, I think, are some dormers. Oh, gosh. I've already spent, like, two minutes just on roofing alone. And I don't even like the roof. Look at that. That is not what I want. That is not what I want. But... Okay, okay, this is gonna this is gonna bother me. This is gonna bother me. All right. It's fine. It's fine We're just going to lower The pitch of this roof There. Oh my god. That's so much better. Okay Okay, I can live with that I can totally live with that and then I do believe that my dormers I use and if you've never downloaded custom dormers for the Sims 2, oh my are you missing out because they are fabulous they absolutely like were a bit of a game changer for me. It's just kind of picking the right one at this point. I don't really ever play with this one and it's like, it's kind of cute. I'm gonna turn quarter tile placement on and let's go ahead and we'll place two of these guys. I've never used them. I think it's just kind of, I don't know, because of the slope on top of them. They kind of look like little eyebrows. <laughs> okay, I don't have time to like stop and fuss with those. So let me just like real quick choose. Okay, I kind of like that, but maybe something darker, maybe like this. And then we could do, ooh, ooh, I have an idea. Um, I've got to figure out where my things are though. So like we could do one of these like black ones. Let's just, let's just pop you all, all around and then I'll go through and I'll change once that's done to some better options. Maybe like, like this guy. Yeah, that could be really cute. So these for the roof pitches right here. Ah, oh, there we go. I don't mind that. Ugh. Okay, maybe, maybe that's not what I want. No, it's fine. It's fine. We're moving on. Turn move objects off. Now, something that is really critical um, to, I think, doing fast builds at this point is, oh, can I, I wish I could put that on two. That'd be great. Oh, but this one, this one might work. I'm almost thinking something on the lighter spectrum. 
Maybe like... Uh, uh, it's not what I want. It's not what I want. Nope. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work at all. That's fine. That's fine. We're gonna move on. And I'm going to find a door that does work. Maybe... Okay, you know what? I wouldn't normally do this, but I'm kind of thinking that the arch might sort of mimic what's going on up here a little better with the gray. Maybe, you know what, I do wonder, I do wonder if the gray, oh my god, yes, yes, okay, 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 guys. We got it sorted, we got it sorted. Here's what we're doing. We are going with these gray ones, and that kind of ties in the gray with these little fellas right there, with the little dormers. And then, before I get too far ahead, I do want to go ahead and place a little teeny tiny um, fenced in garden. I just have to find, uh, let's do like maybe this darker one. And I'm thinking we just put it here. And come on, come on. And there. Perfect. Good enough. Good enough. And then I am going to give myself like a minute or two to just kind of focus on some terrain. I feel like bothering with terrain stuff is a bad idea, um, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Also, by the way, if you're new around here, hi, my name's Kristen, and I build historical sims things, and I play historical sims stuff, and focus mostly on the 19th century, whether it's Regency or Victorian. And so the house we are building, building today actually is for my Victorian sims challenge. So we will be seeing this around the neighborhood. Oh my god, why am I doing this? This is like such a small detail that I really don't need. And yet, we're giving it a go. Oh my god, we only have 13 minutes left. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so stressed out. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's totally fine. Now let's do a little pathway. I do have a ton of different pathway options. I just kind of need to pick one and go with it. I'm kind of feeling maybe this one right here. Oh yeah, those stones. Those stones are great. I'm a big fan of this. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do just fine. And then of course nothing is complete without some plants. I am going to get a big fruiting tree, I think. Or, um, I mean I can test out some of these other trees as well. That's a little, I don't know, that's not exactly what I'm looking for. This is a little bit closer. So like, we'll put you right here. And I think these are the sun and moon trees. Yeah, so these are the giving trees. They're really, really great if you've never played with them. Your Sims can actually collect like sap and saplings and branches for firewood and stuff for them. They're just like, they're truly a labor of love. Okay, that's not where I'm going. I wanted some flowers or bushes. Oh my God, are these little mushrooms? Oh, stop, stop. Look at these mushrooms. Um. I think I started telling you guys about the um, uh, user startup file, but that is something I would definitely recommend if you've never played with like the user startup file. Um, so you can actually shortcut all of your cheats. And so that is actually something that is making my life significantly better right now. Ooh, oh my gosh, beautiful, okay. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. Now we're going to just place a couple of these guys. I don't want to go too out of control because it's something simple, right? Like this is a pretty small cottage and if I go too crazy, we're not going to have enough money for anything else. So I think that'll actually do for now. If we have time, I might come back around and um, add some more landscaping but at this moment i think this is all we can really afford oh we can spend time on oh my god i only have like eleven thousand simoleons left and we haven't even started on the inside so that's great good news good news and then i do want to put like a little garden out here i know i know i said i was done with the plants but like have you met me <laughs> i'm never done with the plants um no, we were doing goats. We were doing goats, Kristen. Kristen, do not get distracted by the plants. 
I will not get distracted by plants. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Ah. Okay, goats. Let's start off with goats. Like, we're already here. Watch me not have any goats in this in this folder. I should have goats. Okay, we have horses. We have cows. Goat! You're a goat. A nanny goat! Oh my god, cute. So, my grandmother, I'm kind of doing the goats in honor of her because she really loved goats. I have no idea why. She liked goats as much as she did. But she just like... She was a big goat person, and she always wanted goats, and we, of course, never had any. So I thought it would be a nice, cute little tribute to her to, like, put some goats in. Where are the, where are, like, the adult male goats? Am I missing some goats? I'm missing some goats, right? Surely. Because you're not a goat. You're a sheep. You're a lamb. You're not a goat. You're not a goat. Oh my god, where are the goats? Do I need to, like, re-download some goats? Well, it's fine. I'll just, I'll place those guys. And this is a cow, right? Oh, oh, Billy Goat. There we go. There we go. And let's get one more that's like a different color. Um, just for funsies, right? Okay, perfect. And then we do need some troughs for them. If I can find them. Oh my gosh, this is like making me realize I don't know where actually anything is in my game. <laughs> and it's a little bit stressful. I mean, I, okay. Listen, I know where things are. I just don't know where everything is, right? Low wooden trough, high wooden trough. So I think we use the high ones. I am going to place them in gray because they kind of match. And there we go. And then something else we're going to need, I think, would look good here is maybe some hay. So let's just like place a big like, hay bale here. Oh my god, I haven't done windows! Ah! I have a feeling we're not even going to get to the inside of this house, guys. <laughs> Which is like a major fail, right? Uh, it's fine. We might be able to survive. We'll see. We'll see, folks. We'll see. Um, maybe this, and then we're going to do gray. No, that's not. That's not what I want. Uh, we do need to turn snap objects back off real quick. Yeah, that's just going to be like a little too high. That's not really what I was looking for. Um, we could do, like, these, but it just, like, it feels like it's all window, you know? Let's try and move objects off, too, just so we can, like, actually make sure we're seeing things correctly. And we'll put one window here, one window here. Normally, I would do a little bit more of a variation on the types of windows that we're using. Um, okay, we will be varying that a little bit. But we are, you know, a little strapped for time. So the other window I was going to use is this guy right here. And I am going to place it there. Ha! <laughs> Seven minutes. Okay, okay, but it's fine. We got the outdoors taken care of. We're getting it covered. We're getting it covered. Um, okay. And then let's move inside and make sure we actually have walls where we want it to be. Um, so this could be like a bathroom. I don't think that would be a bad call and this could be a bedroom That actually that works pretty well. We could Actually, let's make this a bathroom Let's make this a nursery and this a bedroom. Oh dear. The hay is actually like sticking out a little bit too far Okay, that's better. That's better. And now let's do some doors so we can actually make sure we can endure and exit this house How about how about we're doing kind of like old style so something kind of like that wouldn't be a bad call or like this i'm kind of thinking these guys let's do that all right fantastic and then let's just go ahead and get ourselves some standard flooring so we're just going to do these floors and i'm kind of thinking for walls we would just do like some plaster you know, just something simple like this guy. Because this is an old cottage, they're not gonna have enough money in this moment to actually like, you know, decorate and paint the walls and use wallpapering. Normally I would use a lot of wallpapering. Um, oh, we also need a well, we need a well. Okay, the well goes over here. Let's go ahead all the way to the back where the wells are. We'll get you a well and there we go. A matching little gray well. Okay, now we are, 
going to be placing a fireplace. We don't have a whole lot of time for the inside. We only have five minutes for the inside and like that might be my toxic trait is that I spend too much time decorating the outside and then we can't actually do anything on the inside. Uh, does this surprise any of you? I'm sure it does not, but that is okay. All right, so we're gonna do that. I'm making my life a little harder because we are using functional fire. So this is like one extra step that we're doing, but I think it really pays off. Snap objects on, move objects on. Okay, we're gonna place that right there. Uh, snap objects off. And then let's go ahead and get our kitchen situation sorted. <laughs> Four and a half minutes, I'm so stressed out. Why did I decide to do this? I'm so glad I decided to do 20 minutes for the first time that I've done a building challenge instead of 10, because I guarantee you, like, I almost was like, eh, I'll be fine. I'm like good at building stuff, right? I only need like 10 to 15 minutes. Ha, ha, I say to myself, what a fine joke that is. Um, and then I really like these cute little cabinets. So let's go ahead and do that. And we do need a sink. Um, this might be the only sink that we actually put in this house. So we better, better make it last. Oh, oh, can we not put, s okay. Well, well, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Here's the to do. We will just put a sink right there and call it a day. Oh my God, three and a half minutes. Where is the time going? Ah, uh, we don't even have any lights anywhere. Okay, okay, let's just like, uh, breathe, breathe. It's okay. No tragedies here, you know? Um, okay, and then I do wanna like center. Yes, so I wanted to center the dining table a little bit. We're just gonna use one of these classical chairs. I put these chairs in almost all of my lower class builds for the Victorian era and the Regency. I just think they're really quite lovely, you know? They just like, they fit everything really well. All right, while I'm on the topic, let's go ahead and plop a light down. Um, just, just something simple. I'm thinking kind of like this guy right here. Okay, cool. And then let's, I really want to add some curtains and stuff, but I think first we do need to take care of the other parts of the living quarters because we're running out of time and we might not have time as it is. So let's put this bathtub here and then um, we'll plop in another sink. I'm not going to worry about a mirror at the moment and the light can come later, right? We can worry about the lights later. Like, it'll be fine. It'll be all fine. And then I really like this little kind of cottage style bed. So let's do that. Let's change. Oh my god. No, no. I didn't mean to click that. I didn't mean to click that. Let's change the colors real fast. Something simple. There. Perfect. That'll do. And we actually still have about 5,000 simoleons. So we're doing a little bit better than I think I was anticipating. Um, although... It's gonna be such a struggle to find things that match. I'm, it's not right, it's not exactly right. Okay, this is better, this is better. I can live with this. Oh my God, one and a half minutes. One and a half minutes, folks. This is it. We are in the final countdown and I just need some goddamn candles. Uh, why, there, okay. I was like, why are you not working? Why are you not working? Okay. Perfect. And then let's just pop in a dresser. Um, we have about one minute left, so there's not a lot of time for much else. And how about just something? No, that's too fancy. Oh, I was hoping something on the first page would actually work. Actually, I think this will work quite well. So we're going to pop you in the corner there. Maybe we'll throw a plant in if we have time. And now it's time for the nursery situation. So we are just going to do... I think two of these guys and let me see if I can find ah I think this will be good okay okay guys we're doing it and maybe just like one toy just one toy not a lot oh my god oh my god the final countdown ah, I didn't even get to like decorate everything how I wanted it's just so simple Okay, um, you know what? I can keep going. I can keep going. It's fine, Kristen. We got this. 
Uh, let's choose um, my favorite little wall shelf for the bathroom and maybe even some curtains if we have time. Although it's gonna take me a hot second to figure out which curtains I want. So, okay. Um, how about we do, oh. Oh my God, it's time. <sighs> can breathe. <laughs> I can breathe again. <laughs> why, why was that so miserable? <gasps> Wow. Oh my god. Kudos to all the simmers who do this kind of stuff on a regular basis. That was not easy. Alright, so let's take a look at our little house. It's, you know, it's actually kind of cute. We've got some mushrooms. You know, if I didn't spend a whole 10 minutes on the landscaping, I think we would have been fine considering the fact that we didn't even use very much landscaping. So here's the little kitchen. It is a uh, it is admittedly not my best work. I feel like I thought I was going to be able to do so much more than this in 10 minutes. But I uh, I couldn't. I will go ahead and we will upload this to the gallery. Or, <laughs> no, this isn't The Sims 4. I will go ahead and I will upload this to my Tumblr if you did want to download this Genie Tiny Cottage. It is coming in at what? Like 15,000 simoleons, 281. So 15,281 simoleons. That's very affordable for your lower class sims. I know a lot of the builds that I have uploaded on my Tumblr are like pretty big, like middle class and upper class houses. So it might be nice to have something kind of like this. And you can see it's actually right next to the Jung household. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me and um, listening to me struggle through this. I will talk to you next time. Bye.